This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. We're at Guru Graphics. Since 2007, they have been getting your message out to the world on time and basically with the best customer service. I'm here with the general manager. Joe, let me ask you, first of all, in 2007, this was formed under the Wright Group Event Services, yet another division to serve the public out there. Let me ask you, first of all, what is it that got you involved personally in this type of industry? I'd been in the event industry for about 17 to 18 years, um, and my wife and I actually moved out here about a year ago and uh, was staying busy all the time, but was looking for another challenge, and, uh, and a spot at Guru opened up, and so I jumped on board with them, but it's been, it's been great. No matter what time it is, companies are trying to get their message out there in this economy even more than ever, trying to separate themselves from the competition as well as separate themselves out in a crowd. Is that why folks are turning to Guru to basically get that done? I would say so. I mean, we as the right group slash Guru Graphics, I mean, we have really worked to brand ourselves as a one-stop shop. So when you have when you have an event and you need different items, whether it be printed materials or um, any sort of promotional materials, it's nice to not have to go anywhere else. Absolutely. Let's, let's touch on some of the services you guys offer out there. Let's start off with the uh, power of the printed word. We're talking about flyers, brochures, possibly some posters. Is that what you provide? For sure. We do a lot of business cards, I would say, uh, more than I expected when I walked in the door. But um, we do a ton of flyers, brochures. We also do um, posters of various sizes. Um, for restaurants when they're doing grand openings, you know, we do almost like movie style posters so that they're, you know, able to able to really get their word out to their upcoming customers. Excellent. As far as the color services go, we were talking about color as well as black and white. Is that something the client can choose from? Uh, for sure. I mean, it's really up to them. I mean, we we are more or less uh, order takers. I mean, we we're out to do what they need us to do and, and we do whatever it takes to make that happen. A lot of companies out there have invested in a great business location. They want to get the best bang for their buck from that location. Are you able to help them as far as permanent signage goes for those buildings as well? Absolutely. Um, we've done quite a few and we have people bringing different signs to us all the time. I mean, I would say most people, um, uh, it's very few that actually walk into a brand new building where they're able to do everything from scratch. So a lot of times we're taking signs from the previous business and sort of reclaiming them and making them uh, a new business as their own. Many times companies out there, they need a, a temporary alternative. Maybe they've got a special going on, possibly an event coming up. What do you offer in the way of vinyl, banners, that type of thing? For sure. We do, um, we do a lot of banners. Um, we do them for churches. We do them for bake sales. We do them for the Cub Scouts. You know, whoever walks on our door, if they need something that as you said, is not, you know, is not going to be permanent and we can do them really on the fly. I mean, it's, I would say as quick as uh, probably four to five hours. I mean, we can have them out the door. Some of the printing material you guys work with, we're talking about state-of-the-art equipment. What size are you able to go to on those on those banners? I would say we, we use two large format printers. Our largest one, we can print on material that's up to eight feet wide. So, you know, you can kind of go the sky's the limit with that. Obviously, branding is um, relying on consistency out there, seeing your message. Um, nothing more personal than seeing a, a logo on a t-shirt. You guys offer that to the public as well. For sure. I mean, we do our own, as you can see here, and we have a, a crack team of, of printers. We have uh, our lead screen printer has been in the business for 32 years printing, so she is uh, she's on her game. Um, we do a variety of printing right now. We've got probably, I would say, uh, 20 different print jobs in various stages of production from somebody's dream up to finishing printing this afternoon so is the client able to provide their own apparel or is the apparel provided here as well well we we kind of give them the option there's some some of our competition and some of the the businesses that we work with there you know they don't take third party or won't take the customer's product we try to stay away from it um, it just sort of keeps our it makes it where we can actually make a little bit a little bit of money where we need to but you know if someone's got a specific shirt or they've got you know something special to them that they want us to work with we'll definitely do our best to make it happen um, it used to be back in the day the procedures for t-shirts was screen printing now we're talking about heat transfer even digital what are some of the procedures you use here well I would say surprisingly enough um, people are still they still love the old school screen print and so we do i would say probably 75 to 80 percent of our work is is done with the manual screen just like it was done years ago um, we also do heat transfers and we are um, we do have the capability to do digital to garment printing 
when I drive around Denver, which I do quite often, I am uh, basically seeing a very popular form of advertising, that is automobile wraps. Um, it, it's really an attention getter. Tell me what you guys offer there. We are doing vehicle wraps. Again, it's one of those things that until you're in the business, you don't really know kind of what's there, but we've been doing, um, we've been averaging, I would say three to four wraps uh, every couple of weeks. Um, and we're definitely out to do more and more. We just did a, a Bronco limo, um, a stretch expedition a couple of weeks ago for a guy. Um, it was ridiculous, but it looked great and uh, did it on the fly. And it's, I would say with that, it's a, it's a fantastic and probably much more affordable than people think form of marketing that they can do um, and if, you know, the full vehicle wrap isn't up your alley, then there's also the option of doing spot graphics where you can just, you know, simply place your logo and you don't have to wrap the entire vehicle. You know, you can make it your own and personalize it without wow. dropping the massive dollar on it. So you can actually do a partial out there as well, but if you want to wrap the entire thing, you can do that. And as far as automobiles go, you guys do small cars all the way up to, man, I even seen a bus out there that is covered oh, pretty yeah. well. Oh yeah. I mean, it's, uh, the sky's the limit. I mean, we've done party buses before. We've done things as small as the smart cars. Um, and I'm actually in the process of doing two snowmobiles that I'll get done this weekend. So it doesn't, you don't have to limit it to what stays on the road. I mean, it can be an off-road sure. vehicle. It can be a boat and it can really be anything you want. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. You're going to see their website. Basically, on the website, you get a clearer idea of all the services they provide for you. We've touched on a few of them here, but there wasn't one question that uh, basically I wasn't able to ask them. They didn't cover here. If you can print it, they can probably do it right here in-house. Um, you're also going to see there a lot of the testimonials. Companies that have trusted Guru Graphics for their image. And uh, basically, they would love to add you to that list as well. It's as easy as basically clicking on the quote button right there. Before you know it, one of their team members will be reaching out to you via phone or email and basically walking you through the steps of what, what may be required. Many times folks have an idea of what they want as far as a design goes, but a lot of times they have no idea, they've never touched on anything like that. Is that where your design team basically comes to play? Those are the fun clients. Um, but yes, I mean, we, we have a group of designers and it's, it's always easier when a customer or when a client has a vision of, of sort of what they're looking for. But we do occasionally have, you know, people who are a blank slate and that's, it's challenging, but it's also exciting to, you know, sort of see the, the, the process from start to finish. And, and it's even better when you, when you do it right and you see the customer and they're, you know, so excited that, that you've really captured their what the, exactly what they wanted so it's, it's absolutely good. so you get that wow factor involved right there um basically are they receiving a computer proof before every, anything goes to print we try to do that all the time i mean there's some times where we're just you know crunched for time and and there's other times when they say we trust you and that's really good you know when when that happens but you know we we would 99 percent of the time we would like to have a proof out there so they can see it make sure that that what we are seeing is is what they're seeing too as as their vision and, and it's not so that nothing's lost in translation i touched on a little bit with joe as far as the typical client out there everyone needs their message out there obviously that's what you've been providing since 2007 when you added this division once again to uh, many other divisions you've got under one roof share with me a little bit about the corporate client out there you've got some real unique offerings as far as uh what you said it was scrim for large companies, explain to me what that is. Yeah, the Scrim is it's a fairly new product that we um, have been developing over a year, and it's the large mesh wrap that goes on the scaffold of um, construction sites where they have a large building they might be you know erecting, and the scaffolds get wrapped in this in this mesh. We're, we now have a very super large printer that can print onto the mesh. So let's say it's a Hensel Phelps or a Kiwi or something of that company. They might want to have their name all the way up 40 stories on the wrap that goes around the building, which could be around the scaffold, and that's the mesh we print on now. So it's a pretty unique product. Many companies out there have trusted you with their image. Um, you're not afraid of big jobs. Like you see, we're talking about large buildings, but you've also provided uh, print work on large tents that you provide as well. Tell me about that. Yeah, that's correct. So even small tents uh, might be a 10 by 10 that's branded for uh, any industry. Could be clothing, could be anything. So we can put their logos on these tents so they actually um, completely look branded for their look, their logo. And then also we do the printing for large tents like the Budweiser Clydesdales, um, you know, Coors Light, uh, Miller. We've done a, a number of different types of printing on all kinds of tents. And then the sidewalls too. We can completely print all the sidewalls 
and that can be an image of, of whatever they want. It could be a picture of a, a lake or it could be their logo, so multicolor. You name it, you pretty much have it all covered there. Companies out there many times, the first time that their image is actually seen is that of a trade show. Show what you, what you guys offer there as far as the trade show printing. Okay, for trade shows, so we have uh, the signs, the ID signs. That's one of the things where we'll print the ID sign. So when you go into a trade show, as an exhibitor, you're setting up, you have an ID sign, which is fairly simple. From there, we'll also do the pop-up displays, um, the signs that go around the tables. Um, we can brand the skirts. We can brand the backdrops. We can do multi-dimensional backdrops too, where they're curved or they might have a curve and an angle in it. So we can do actual kind of stretch form sure. displays for trade shows where we set those up. And then the trade show producer, the person that actually puts the show on for all of the exhibitors, they might have really large graphics that hang from the ceiling down. And those have to be numbers of aisles or the name of the show. Um, you know, whether it's the garden show or it's an auto show, they want big signage and we can also put that outside on the building too and put large, large wraps on the side of the building with their name. In 2007, you formed this division um, from, the, from the many that you've had. Why did you feel it was important to go into the printing aspect? But it really was a timing issue. The reason we got into it was because we started relying on companies that um, would tell us, you know, yeah, we can do this in four days and we would make a guarantee to the customer that we're going to have it. And because we came out of the special event industry and we're used to sometimes pulling 18, 20 hour shifts, we just started getting a little bit frustrated with not hitting deadlines exactly when we promised our customer. So we said we have to bring it in house to control the time frames and the timeline. So we, we delivered on time. You guys understand deadlines in this type of industry. Yeah, that's for sure. And they're there. You have a team basically at hand that has over 50 years of combined experience right here under one roof. Um, we're in an electronic world anymore. Do consultations, are they able to take place right there through the internet or do they have to come in person? Uh, it's really what's easier for the, for the client. I mean, I would say it's, it's always easier when you can sit down with someone face to face okay. and, and really kind of hash things out. Um, but you know what, if you're in Michigan and you want your snowmobile wrapped, I mean, you can call us and say, hey, this is you know what I'm looking to do and we can definitely take care of it without ever seeing you face to face. Wonderful. Last time viewers take a look at the bottom of the screen, that is Guru Graphics, uh, available here since 2007. They're a division of the Wright Group Event Services, um, serving the entire Denver area and way beyond. And keep in mind, they're gonna take your vision to reality on time and do it with great customer satisfaction. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Aurora, Colorado. We are at Picture Your World Photography. Since 2007, she has been enjoying capturing your moments with her vision. I'm here with Sheba, who is the owner, founder, lead photographer. Let's begin, Sheba, first of all, in 2005, you experienced a loss that quite honestly left you with memories, but it also inspired you to want to create great memories for other people. Share with us how you got involved in this industry. Uh, the event that you're talking about was the unexpected death of my mother. Okay. Um, she was 48 and she had emphysema. Um, as you can imagine, I was in my early 30s. Um, I expected to have my mother with me for the rest of my life and suddenly I got the phone call that she was gone. And it catapulted me into this awful depression and quite honestly, I needed something that was going to get me out of bed, that was going to make me excited and happy and forced me to continue living and keep seeing good in the world. And so one of the things that I had always wanted to do was take a digital photography class. I wanted to, to learn about this new technology and I decided to do so. And that's how I got started. It went from me knowing nothing to having the camera in the box and being too afraid to take it out of the box because it was the single biggest expense I'd ever had. I was just afraid of it to suddenly being where I am now, what, almost seven years later. 
wonderful. I mean, quite honestly, at that moment and that time, photography helped you appreciate the world again. Um, obviously, photography helps us all appreciate the world. Is that why you think consumers out there continue to hire professionals out there in the field? I believe so. I think that there are moments in a person's life that need to be captured, that can't be repeated if that moment is lost. And you can't expect just anybody with a camera to be able to capture that. You need to be able to put your faith and your heart into a photographer so that you can experience that moment and not worry. If we're talking about something like a wedding or newborn or any of those things that can't be repeated again, you want to be able to experience that moment and have that photographer capture it and know this is going to be done. I'm going to have shots at the end of this and I don't have to worry. And I think that's very important for people. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, experiencing that moment, um, quite honestly, it's a moving moment. Many of those things don't stand still. Not everything poses. Is that why the editorial documentary style that you've created really works best for you? I believe so. I think uh, what helps set me apart from other photographers is my background as a print journalist. I worked for the Denver Post for 15 years, so I needed to be able to see that moment when it was happening during whatever event that I was covering or with an interview with a person that I was talking to uh, and, and make sure that I could make that translate into print so that somebody else could read that and feel that moment. They could be a part of that moment even though they weren't actually there. So I think that translates as well into my photography and that's something that I really aim for is to try and capture that moment, the hidden moments that you might miss, whether it's you know, mom kissing her son on the cheek during a, a senior portrait session because you know she's feeling that sense that her son is graduating, he's leaving, or if it's a wedding moment where something happened and the bride didn't expect it and you get that sense of feeling that sense of emotion, that sense of humanity. And I think that translates well into photography as long as you have that eye to capture it, if you're looking for it, and if you allow yourself to feel. I think sometimes photographers have this, this reputation of being sort of hands-off, sure. being very technical, being very, you know, not involved. Unfortunately, I, I don't think that's a good way to go, at least not for me. I, I'm very emotional, I'm very people friendly, and I like being a part of that moment because I, that's the way you capture it. Wonderful. What are some of the other events you've been able to experience out there? We're talking about birthdays that are big for people, anniversaries, celebrations. Share with me just a few. So we cover birthdays, just as you mentioned, um, other celebrations such as anniversaries. I've done several of those. I've even done quinceañeras in the past, which I think are, are wonderful events, uh, a great thing to be a part of. Uh, also, in the lines of special events, I like to cover uh, business special events. So that could be seminars, conventions, dinners, receptions, that kind of thing, where you really need to have that person who can capitalize on the moment that they're seeing. So it requires the need to be able to shoot both outdoors and indoors in case you're doing a business seminar and suddenly they want you to go to sure. a nightclub setting and you go from bright sunlight to midnight in the middle of a club where people are dancing. You need to be able to navigate all of those areas. Speaking of navigating, your specialty is obviously out there in the field. But every once in a while, you end up in the studio. Somebody wants uh, a special day, and no guests are invited. It's just you and that subject. Basically, um, it could be something as intimate as a boudoir portrait or possibly any other kind of individual portrait. Why are those special to you? I like the one-on-one -on -one interaction that I have with a client. Um, if I'm doing something such as a boudoir session uh, where the client is coming in and they're already a little nervous, I mean, you don't just walk into a space and take off your clothes and there you go, I'm ready to shoot. Very few people can do that. Uh, so there has to be this one-on-one -on -one connection with the client where I help them um, be at ease. I ask them questions about themselves so that they can share with me, you know, how do you feel about your body? What part of your body do you love? What part of your body do you want me to back off from? You know, what do you think about this color? So there's this camaraderie before we even get started. Like I said, I'm a people person um, and, I, and I like 
that back and forth uh, during a photo session. You like them to be comfortable before they even hit the set with you as well. Speaking of, like you said, uh, the ladies may be nervous. A lot of times they're not sure how they want to wear their hair, possibly their makeup or how it should be done. Are you able to help them there professionally as well? Yes, definitely. I often have a makeup artist who also specializes in hair. So we all work together as a team. Usually if I do a boudoir session, I ask the client to also get makeup so that that gives them 30 minutes to just sort of sit and talk with me and my makeup artist, get to know them a little bit more. Why are you doing this? Is this about you, about a personal achievement that you're celebrating? Or is this something that you're doing for a significant other? Talk to me about your significant other. What does he or she like? You know, what do they care? about. So that first 30 minutes is really just a, a people session, a getting to know you, a, a, a breathing session so that they calm down and they realize, you know, I'm human too. Um, and then after that, we sit the client down, we have them lay out all of their different items and we sort of work with them to see, you know, which piece of clothing works best. Let's try that. No, let, let's try this. And so there's this collaboration that I think is very important with my clients. Wonderful. Folks, take a look at the bottom of your screen right there. What you're going to see basically is her website. On the website, first and foremost, check out her galleries. A lot of galleries there to get your creative juices flowing. You're not sure possibly how you want to be photographed, how you want her to picture your world. You're going to get some great ideas there. Um, she really is great out on location with an editorial, a documentary kind of style that really um, unobtrusive. She is basically there at your event, but she's at your event capturing, hopefully, something you're going to look back years and years later and realize you were so glad a professional captured for you. Also, check out her testimonials. A lot of testimonials there of folks that basically have uh, been able to experience the awe and the wonder of photography. Speaking of testimonials, I want one of the, one of the things I noticed there is folks seem to enjoy the experience. They seem to have fun. Speaking of having fun, why don't you share with me what an alter ego session is? I like the alter ego sessions because it gives people a chance to sort of deep go deep within themselves to figure out okay what would my alter ego be and decide for themselves what that persona would be so for instance I've had people come in and say okay so by day I'm this business person or I'm a lawyer you know but in the back of my mind maybe I'm a sexy librarian or I don't know maybe I'm a, I'm a hassled mom and I've got kids and I don't know how to you know feel my sense of, of sexuality or I've lost that so then she may come out in a leopard suit <laughs> it's just just far out it's whatever that alter ego is i've had people come in as vampires and just just whatever that persona is for them and, and it's just a, a moment for them to be able to have fun they get their makeup done they get their hair done and and that really is an experience for people because what i found is is that sometimes people don't even want the photos afterwards they want the experience of being in the light and and, and having their camera moments and and just being pampered so that that really does become an experience for them and, and then maybe the photos are kind of secondary so obviously the same passion that drives you every day that got you involved in this industry of loving life again enjoying life um, how does it make you feel knowing your images that are quite honestly gonna outlive you you know I think it, it sort of circles it back to everything else you know I, I got into this because I wanted to find a reason to keep living I wanted to know that there were things in this world that was beautiful, um, that there was a reason to keep going even though I had lost this major part of my life. And so now to be able to know that I'm giving people images that they can hold on to even after death is something that stays with me. As a matter of fact, uh, one of my clients uh, passed away a couple of years ago and the only photos that her family were able to find of, of them at that time uh, was those photos that I took of them. So they showcased those at the funeral and people came up to me and they told me, you know, I'm so glad that we have those photos. We lost touch with everything, everything was just a mess, but those photos helped bring all of us together. And I think that really sealed it for me that as a photographer, it's not just about that moment even though i talk about that moment it's it's capturing that moment so that people can experience it and feel what they were feeling later as a past photographer it's quite an honor when you see your work displayed in such a way like that and it's able to touch and move a lot of lives folks take a look last time at the bottom of the screen right there you're going to see her website um, check out there it's picture your world photography you really only have one question to ask and that is 
how do you want her to picture your world? I mean, it's basically your moment, her vision. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know. Until next time, if you know of a business who you feel the whole city should know about, nominate them, we'll send a reporter out. This is Gary Atencio from CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know.